people are very happy when they see, you know, there's flood because it brings food, brings pasture, and there'll be less. As long as, you know, it also brings, you know, the havoc. But one major issue about that is it is a resource. When the dry season, when there's no water here, what will happen that uh, everybody is actually looking at this river. Everybody try, you know, to survive on these resources. And that is why we have, you know, inter-community clashes. The most challenges I came to realize is that lack of knowledge about the importance of trees. People living in this, this society is basically uh, have only one economical activity that is uh, herding. They only keep livestock. Regarding trees, they have little knowledge about that and that would have been uh, the, the main challenge. We are not getting my water from uh, River Iwaso Niro because people who are farming up there, they are blocking the water for them to irrigate their farms. Our water here is salty and it's full of fluorine. So Napata is not good for consumption. The impact of climate change in this ecosystem is quite real and it has been felt a lot. Uh, currently, we are experiencing a severe drought and you'll find even the water levels are quite low. Na mwaka kama ishirini hivi, hii mto nimeasha kutitimia. Kwanini, hata pata ni amvua imepatilika. Samani tunapata mvua mwesi watatu kila mwaka. Kwanza eight days. There's a lot of human activities which is going on in terms of uh, settlement, destruction to our natural resources. A good example is now Lake Olboisot. has already been actually uh, completely finished. And yet, you know, it is the lake that supplies the water to us. That is why at the moment you see that it has now started raining there. And the color of this water is now black because of the erosion of activities which is happening you know, down there. When you come down to Siolo and Samburu, uh, sand harvesting, it has also some negative impact on Wasunuro because the velocity of the river actually increases the speed. And that speed, when it rains, it usually hits back, you know, the lower part, causing a lot of flood and havoc. Wakati kuna nyesha, mito inafurika, it bursts, it banks. Inaharibu hii mimea, ambaye iko shamba hii shamba ndogo 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 ya mahindi ya mboga ambaye iko chini inaharibu kabisa Sasa hii mto kikatika tunakosa kila kitu sisi wenyewe tupata maji kunywa mimea yetu yote inakauka kitambo tuchimbe kisima hiyo kitakuwa imeshakauka yote na ni shida sana When it comes to the pastoralist downstream when we have uh, excessive livestock which are not managed, or our, plan our grazing patterns which are not planned, it leads to a landscape which is degraded. In that way, we, de we, we lose our, our soils which are quite of important to us. Maisha ya borana inategemea mifugo. Uhai ya hawa wafugaji it's a lifeline for this community here. It is sources, you know, it's from Abadea, Mount Kenya, and also some part of Nambene. Peace is very crucial at all levels, from individual level up to international level. That is what actually we are doing today to propagate, you know, this peace initiative to make sure that, you know, our communities in Isiolo and the neighboring countries have to coexist so that we live together and share the little resources you know we have. The people have solutions and solutions are with us. Action Aid, together with the MIDP, together with the CHESV, working closely with farmers, we've been able to come up with a pro program, Sustainable Agroecological Production Model in Asal Kenya, mainly looking at alternatives, resilient building actions. These are aimed at improving our building resilience of farmers, transitioning farmers to more sustainable and regenerative ways of livelihood, and also policy engagement work.
to look at the uh, sustainable development uh, aspirations. Mimi natambua. Mimi natambua. Vile miti nyinyi nalete hii. Hii miti manufa kubwa sana kushinda mbuzi 200. What we are doing is uh, we do community sensitization, okay, so that at least you know the community can be informed to ensure that at least you know they live uh, together peacefully, they share the little resources they have, and uh, to make sure that maybe in near future, not only in Solo County, will be able to bring on board the other stakeholders from neighboring constituencies, so that we have common goal to ensure that peace prevails in all the constituencies. This is a decade of ecosystem restoration and it is possible and yes we can. If we protect this nature, nature will give us one peace because of conflict will be resolved. Two, nature will give us food. Three, nature will treat us medicinally. Four, we will not have all this challenges we are having in terms of pandemics and crisis.